Hey y'all, welcome back to DC Motor Works. Today we're working on one of our, our own personal shop projects here. It's a W210 chassis E55 AMG. This particular one is a 2002 model. Finished in a very uncommon tech type gray metallic. This one has had some paint work. It's not in the greatest shape. But we got it for a pretty good price. What we have Andy investigating here is the uh, coolant had milkshaked itself on our way home from picking it up back to the shop. And a lot would think, oh, it's got a blown head gasket. But that's actually very, very, very uncommon on the 113 engine here. And more commonly, what you'll see is the oil cooler here. There's two gaskets in between there that can leak and that will mix your engine oil and your coolant. However, when this was bubbling over, you could smell it even still. It smells more like transmission fluid. So we check the transmission fluid and it looks just like this nice chocolate milkshake you see down here. So this is one of the radiators that has the transmission cooler built into it. This was actually a very common issue back in the early 2000s, late 90s, with a lot of these radiators. Not particularly in this model as much. Uh, it's coming, coming back again. Yes, but it has started to return. 207s, 212s. So in about 2010, it was about when those chassis both started. That would be your E-Class sedan, E-Class coupe convertible from about 2010 till 2016, right around there. Starting to see a few of those return, but this was more common on 203, 209, C-Class, CLK, back in the early 2000s. But unfortunately it has happened to this one. And as we found out, this radiator is no longer available from Mercedes-Benz. There are a few vendors that say they may be able to get an aftermarket one, but one of them is over $600 and the other one's over $1,200. And for a driver car like this, we're not interested in doing something like that. This one's been replaced to see the bear brand but over here they ground off the mercedes star that is very common on what we call oes or original equipment supplier parts that you end up getting the actual factory part and they just take like a dremel or something and they'll grind off the mercedes-benz star and part number A good way to check if you have one of these affected vehicles is you can look for the manufacturer of the radiator. Vallejo is the manufacturer that had the big issue with these transmission coolers leaking into your coolant. This one does have a bear, but we're still running into this issue. So what we're looking at doing here Yep, so there's one of the connections for your transmission cooler. So what we're looking at doing is blocking these off and running an external transmission cooler. So we'll connect that to the factory transmission cooler lines. So right now we've got pressure on the cooling system to make sure the coolant. You can see right here, the water coming out of the radiator now from the pressure. So what we'll have to do is create a block off to keep that from leaking. And then effectively we'll separate both circuits and we'll never have this issue again and not have to source an used or unobtainium radiator. So this particular 210 has 
just about 250,000 miles. You can see still how nice of shape everything is still in. You do have some wear on the die on your leather seats. And some little bit of age cracking there. You can see cushions are not collapsed. There's no big tears. Leather on the steering wheel still in good shape. No cracks in the dash. These did sometimes have some issues where they would crack around the airbag cover there. And then up by the defroster vents also. So a lot of these did get replaced under warranty back when they were new for that issue, but it doesn't crack in the centers or anything like that, like some of the older models, like the 126. Rear seat almost looks like it wasn't ever sat in. We do have the clip for the headrest cover there has come loose, so we'll take care of that. Big issue on these 210 chassis. These rear window regulators like to fail. They are riveted in, so you do have to have the right tools to repair them. Beyond that, these cars were very common to rust. However, this is a nice Southern vehicle. You'd usually see along the bottoms of the doors or in the fenders, they'll get real rusty. But the biggest problem with rust on these was actually the upper spring perches. Can't quite see them here behind the tire, but they would actually rust off the frame of the car and the front end would collapse. Here you can see the upper spring perch, and right here where it meets the body is where rust will get to them, and that spring perch will fold up into the body and collapse the front end. These cars always had a very sleek looking design with very subdued changes from the standard car. Of course, with the famous AMG monoblocks. See this model does have a resonator delete. It's a little loud for our taste, but it does sound very good. And just see how clean the underside of this vehicle is. Got your factory Bilstein shocks. Common issue on a lot of Mercedes models are what we call the knuckle bushing there. Got your flex disc, no cracks. There's a rubber disc that connects the drive shaft on both ends. You do not want one of those to come apart. Very common on these as well are the secondary catalytic converters. The inner material will break loose and they'll start to rattle. See, these two are still both very solid. Got our 722.6 five-speed transmission here that you about can't kill. See one of our very common 113 leaks here. The rear main is just starting to leak. This one actually isn't too bad considering what most of them are. But this one does have the oil level cinder. It's leaking pretty good. That is this guy right up there. It has an O-ring on it, dries up and shrinks. And it'll start leaking oil real bad. A lot of people think it's the oil pan itself but it's usually not. However, you do have to remove the oil pan to remove the oil level sensor and replace that seal. Here you can see where we have our trans cooler lines disconnected. Coming up with a solution here.
Another very common leaks on this engine. See the oil filter stand there. And also there is an oil pressure test port just above the belt tensioner there. It has a little square cut gasket that will harden and leak as well. But that's really about all the maintenance you have to do on these engines.